Someone said to me, you're so passionate about what everything you say and the things that you do. And everybody doesn't appreciate that passion. What they were telling me, this was earlier in my career, and what they were telling me was that they didn't appreciate that I was a woman and that I brought emotion to my presentations, to my conversations, to my advocacy. And sitting at the table, having the substantive information that was required to represent the population that I was representing, and then to present it with that passion, that womanhood passion, and you give voice to those people who are never gonna sit in that room, that was when the moment came that I said, you know, I'm glad I'm a woman working in this job because there's nobody else in this room today who can speak the way I can. And the people I serve deserve nothing less. convince the international community to help them. And that's why we're here, so that the world can see their faces, see the work that they are willing to do, see the fact that they have survived the crisis, the conflict, and they want to move forward. They just ask for our help so that they can move forward. We will not forget you. We will continue to work with you, and we need the world to work with us. I was born into a family with mother and father who believed that their daughters should grow up with no ceilings on their dreams. That encouraged us to want more, to outrun the boys, to not be afraid to jump higher. What you have doesn't limit what you do. You can always find a way to make things work. I was in Unity State, in one of the counties that we recent, where we recently declared a famine. And here are these, these children who, in the middle of devastation, in the middle of a war zone, are playing duck, duck, goose. You could have been on the west side of Chicago or in downtown Manhattan with a group of children of the same age, and there wouldn't have been any more joy than those children in South Sudan playing Duck, Duck, Goose. And so you learn very quickly that we are all the same and we want the same things. And if we invest in providing the food security that's necessary for those children in South Sudan, they can grow up with the same possibilities. The biggest trap you can fall into as you have as you experience opportunities that allow you to serve in higher positions is to begin to define yourself by that title by that position and so having the ability to continue to be me uh, and then to help people in a way that's beyond my title but it's Earthrun who's helping you is that makes me feel good.